Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you are a God of love. You are a God of wisdom. And when you call us unto yourself, it is to do us good. And Father, we pray that you look on our eyes this day. And help us to see how kind and how good and gracious you are towards us. We pray that as you give us a high calling this morning, we will respond positively to you in Jesus' name. We pray that all those who are still outside the kingdom of God will come in. And those who are inside the kingdom of God and considering whether to remain or to go away, well, they will remain in Jesus' name. Amen. Keep us steady within the kingdom. Of God. In Jesus' name we pray. One subject uh, which is the foundation of the blessings that we receive from God. There are many times we hear about uh, people who wonder uh, why God is not blessing them as uh, they expect. Others question why their prayers are not answered. Others wonder why in their own lives they do not see enough miracles. But we're going to look at the foundation of everyone's relationship with God and everyone's success in the Christian life today. In Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, the Holy Spirit has preserved wonderful words for us concerning consecration. Consecration is yielding fully and wholeheartedly everything we are, everything we have. Everything we expect to be unto God. Consecration means to lay down ourselves at the very feet of Jesus and tell him, do with me what pleases you. Consecration is laying our crown, laying our talent, and laying our bodies down at the feet of Jesus, saying, You know best, use it as it pleases you. The wonderful act of sanctity of um, of a consecration is the one that makes us a true soldier saying we want to be loyal to the kingdom of God and we want to do whatever he wants us to do at the time he wants us to do it at any cost. There are many areas where consecration is emphasized and stressed in the word of God. And there are some Old Testament sacrifices that really show how we ought to consecrate unto the Lord. And this afternoon, it's very important that everyone is attentive to this message on consecration. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Nitori na mo fi yonu olorun beyin ara ki eyin ki o fi ara yin fun olorun ile ebo aye. Mimo 
Verse 2 And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The Apostle Paul had talked about separation from sin in the earlier chapters. He had talked about the crucifixion of self for the old man in an earlier chapter. He had made it very clear that all had sinned and come short of the glory of God in an earlier chapter. He has made us to know that by faith can we receive the righteousness of God into our hearts. And being washed by the blood of Jesus Christ, we become members of the body of Christ. Because only when we are born again, only when we are saved, can we be called a brother or a sister in the kingdom of God. And many people already have testimonies that they have been born again. If you are asking, how did they come about the testimony? It is very simple. They realize that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God according to Romans chapter 3. They realize that whether Jew or Gentile, all have come short of the glory of God. And they realize that only through the sacrifice or the atoning uh, merit of the Lord Jesus Christ can they be saved. They have seen that the works of our hands cannot save us. Religious heritage we got from our parents could not save us. And so such people have confessed their sins to the Lord asking for forgiveness. And uh, they have claimed by faith the blood of Jesus Christ cleansing and washing them clean. They came before God as guilty sinners. They prayed that God should forgive them. They became justified by faith. God counts them as if they had never committed sin. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 tells us that when they are justified like that, they have the peace of God. They being justified by faith, we have peace with God. And uh, this same chapter tells us that this was done by the very death of Jesus Christ. Verse 6. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. And uh, he makes us to realize that when we have been saved like that, we no longer continue in sin. Chapter 6 verse 1. But what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God for me. Now there is something that those who are born again, something that they do. When temptation comes, they reckon themselves that they are already dead to sin, therefore they will not participate in sin. Romans chapter 6 verse 11 Likewise reckon ye yourselves also dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Be ni ki eyin pelu ka ra yin bi oku si ese sugbon bi alaye si Olorun ninu Christ Jesus. Let not sin therefore in your mortal body. Nitori na e ba se je ki ese ki o joba ninu ara kiku yin. That you should obtain that you should uh, obey it in the laws thereof. Ti eyin o fi ma gbo ti fe ku fe re. Verse 14 for sin shall not shall not have dominion over you. Ese e kere la nitori ese ki yo ni pa lori yin. But uh, constantly these people who are born again they realize that they have been saved they have been separated from sin therefore they are not to continue but not only that they are also delivered from the old Adamic nature within them when they press forward in sanctification in Romans chapter 6 verse 6 knowing this that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed that henceforth we should not serve sin nitori awa mo mo yi pe akan ogologbo okunrin wa ma gbelebu pelu re ki a le pa ara eserun ki awa ma se sin ese mo and so it is very clear that when the apostle paul calls some people brethren they had confessed their sins they had told god to forgive them and they had received the grace that made them children of god eyi ni pe nigba ti paul apostle to pe awon kan ni awon ara eyi ni pe won ti ma ese won ni ese won si ti jewo ese na won ti ko sile won si ti gba idariji aturo ofe lati ma de se mo if you are not sure whether you are a child of god or not ji ko ba da oloju pe boya mo olorun ni o tabi be ko if you are not sure whether you are a brother or a sister or not bi o ko ba ti ni idari loju boya arakunrin ni o tabi there is an easy way of checking up. Oh no, can we to fill it? Yeah, we. I've told you, I've read to you in Romans chapter six already. That when you are a child of God, number one, you'll be free from sin. Number two, you will have the peace with God. Number three, in Romans chapter eight, verse one, you will not be under condemnation. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Number 4 the spirit of God will be bearing witness with your heart that you are a child of God. For it says in Romans chapter 8 verse 16 The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Number 5 you'll be led constantly by the spirit of God. Your conscience will be sensitive when temptation comes. The light of God will be on in your heart when the darkness is approaching. And according to Romans chapter 8 verse 14 for as many as are led by the spirit of God they are the sons of God. Number one, you are free from sin when you are saved. Number two, you have the peace of God in your heart. Number three, there is no condemnation now because you are in Christ. Number four, the Spirit of God will be bearing witness with your heart that you are a child of God. And number five, day by day, moment by moment, the Spirit of God. God will be warning you, instructing you, and uh, challenging you, and leading you in the proper way. Well, but you say, what happens when somebody is not born again yet? When he is still not forgiving of his sins. When he is just a religious church goer, but not a true biblical believer. What is the mark that I will know? This person is not yet a child of God, not yet a brother, not yet a sister. Number 
ki ma wi ni ki se arakunrin be ni ki si ti se arabirin na it's in chapter 7 from verse 14 o wa ninu ori keje lati ese ikerin la for we know that the law is spiritual but i am carnal sold under sin nitori awa ma pe ohun emi le ofin sugbe ni ti ara le emi ti a ti ta sabe ese the one who is not born again yet is sold under sin eni ti e ko ti di atun bi a ti ta sabe ese look at verse 15 wo ese ke dogun for that which i do i allow not for what I would that I do not, but what I hate that I do. Nitori o ti emi she emi kumo. Nitori ki she o ti mo fe li emi she. Shiba o ti mo kodi la li emi she. Verse sixteen. Ese kere ni logo. If then I do, uh, if then I do that which I would not, I consent that the law. It, that the law is good. She must be obeyed. She pay on time. Me go fair. He in the lane. Me she move back. He of in dara. Number seventeen. I say get a dilogun. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwells in me. Yani se se iki she million she mo. Me go share she tingbe ino me. That is the description of a man in whose heart Christ has not come. Ile ni akweju we eni na ti Christi ko ti wano akare. He cannot say Christ. Dwelleth in me. Kule we pay Christian be no me. He could not say light dwelleth in me. Kule we pay male be no me. He could not say the grace of God abideth in me. Kule we pay Ori of Elon be no me. But he said sin dwelleth in me. Shuma we pay Eshen be no me. Sin abideth in me. Eshen fi no me shebu be. I know the knowledge in my head what to do, but my heart is empty of the grace and the power and the strength of God to do it. Moni ima 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 ni agari mi lati she shuma Ori of Elon ati agbara. He is saying the fighting I don't like is what I do, I fight. The lies I don't like telling, that is exactly the lies I tell. The covetousness, the jealousy, the envy, the bitterness that I don't like, I don't appreciate, that is what I do day in day out. Lusting after women, oh, I hate it within me. But you know that I can't resist it. I do it anyhow. Yet I hate it. Ini ni fe ku fe si obere mo kori da re shu mani ba ku ba ni mo tu ma ri pe mo man she. I know the consequences of adultery and fornication. I know they are not good. I'm civilized enough, educated enough to know that it is bad. But yet, even though I hate it, I do it. Mo ma ba yori agiri ati pan shaga. Bi o ti le je pe mo je o ma we ni to si log ma lo ri shu ba mo mo tu mo si kori da re mo ri pe mo tu she. Look at verse nineteen. I was a cock and dilo. For the good that I would, uh, for the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Nitori re ti emi, ti emi fe emi koshi. Shuba bu buru ti emi kofe e yini le emi she. Now verse twenty. If I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwells in me. Ese ogo shuba bi oba she ko ti emi kofe e yini le emi she emi emi kin she ma bi koshi e she tingbe ino me. Verse twenty four. All right. Wretched man that I am. He could not say, Oh, saved man that I am. He could not say, Oh, wonderful treasure that I have. He could not say, Oh, child of God that I am. But he said, Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me, who shall save me from the body of this death. Do you know that the moment you realize that, the moment your heart begins to cry after God, wanting to worship God and serve God, the moment you want all your sins to be washed away, that you are very, very desirous of the peace of God, of the light of God in your heart. Of guilt and condemnation to pass away. Desirous of the peace of God to come into your heart. Desirous of the spirit witnessing in you. Now you are forgiven. Now you are a child of God. The moment that desire is present within you, you are not 
far from the kingdom of God. But you have a step to take before you get into that kingdom. And that's in Romans chapter 10. I'm reading there from verse 8. But what says it? The word is nigh thee. Even in thy mouth. And in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. What is the meaning of faith? A person that has faith believes that God is telling the truth. When the Bible says you have sinned and you have come short of the glory of God with faith, you say, yes, I believe I am a sinner. When the Bible says that you cannot be saved by your own righteousness, by your own power, that all your righteousness is like filthy rags, you say, oh, yes, I will not argue. I believe that I cannot save myself. And when the Bible says that when we did not have any strength in due time, Christ died for us, you say, oh yes, I believe I do not have strength. I cannot deliver myself. The sin is too great that I cannot uh, just rescue myself, but Christ has died for me, me in particular. And when the word of God makes it very clear that now is the very day of your salvation and then now is the accepted time, you say, yes, I believe I can be saved now. When the Bible says now, you will not say, no, I don't think I can get it now. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. At that time, you hear that you say, yes, I believe I can be saved right now. But then in verse 9 of Romans chapter 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, what does that mean? That you will receive Jesus Christ as Lord before you, be, before you can become saved while you were still in sin. Sin is your Lord. Sin is your Master. Lying is your master. Money, admit your master. Covetousness, admit your master. They ruled over your life. They directed and controlled your life. But the moment you say, oh no, I will repent of all my sins. Sin is not going to be a master over me anymore. I am going to accept and receive Jesus as my Lord. Then salvation is near. Confession is made unto salvation. And when you become saved like that, you are now a brother. You are now a sister. But then you want to know the secret of receiving blessings from God. Because there are many people who have become brethren, they have become believers, but they do not know how to get blessings from God. Some have even gone beyond just getting saved, they have prayed and the Lord has sanctified them. After they have got sanctified, they just become lazy in their Christian life. They even become selfish, they go back into carnality and self. They do not think that they need to consecrate anymore. 
they do not know that they need to yield themselves to God fully anymore. That every day we need to be putting ourselves before Jesus Christ saying, All I have, all I am, all I hope to be belongs totally unto you, yeah. my Lord and my King. In verse 1, chapter 12 of Romans again. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. How would you present your bodies unto God? As a living sacrifice. Number one, if you have seen in your body, then that's a dead sacrifice. But when you are already saved from sin, what you are yielding to God is a living sacrifice. Romans chapter 6, verse 13. Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. Your members like your mouth. Your members like your eyes. Your members like your ears. Like your hands. Like your legs. And every other part of your body. Do not yield any part of your body unto unrighteousness, unto sin. When you tell a lie, you are yielding your mouth to sin, to self, and to Satan. When you commit adultery or fornication, you are yielding your members unto sin, unto self, and to Satan. When you give your ears to hearing dirty stories, you are giving your ears unto sin, unto self, and unto Satan. When you give your eyes to reading immoral books and watching dirty pictures in cinema houses or over the television, you are yielding your members unto sin, unto self, and unto Satan. When your legs walk to dirty places, bad places, sinful places, you are yielding your members unto sin, unto self, and unto Satan. When your legs walk Anything you give to the devil, he will use it. And you cannot be for the devil and for God at the same time. Your mouth cannot be serving God and serving the devil at the same time. Your eyes cannot be honoring God and glorifying Satan at the same time. So as believers, as fellow pilgrims on the way to heaven, as soldiers in the kingdom of God, fighting against sin, against evil in the world, we must yield our members not unto sin but unto righteousness. That's why verse 13 says, but yield yourselves unto God. As those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Now, my brother, my sister, don't you know? Know ye not in verse 16 that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants here to whom ye obey, whether ye 
mother of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Don't you know when you yield yourself to commit sin, you are making yourself a voluntary slave and voluntary servant of Satan? But God be sang that ye were servants of sin, that's in the past, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered unto you. Verse 19. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh, because of the littleness of littleness of your understanding. For as ye have yielded your member servants unto uncleanness, that's in the past, and to iniquity unto iniquity in the past, even so now that you are believers, yield your members servants of to righteousness unto holiness. Nitori bi e iti jowa wo e yara ilo wo bi e rufu wo e wairi ati fu e she de e she de inu e she e ini nigba kan. In verse 22, But now, being made free from sin and become servants of God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. If we're going to yield ourselves to God, we must withdraw ourselves completely from sin. Completely from self. Completely from satanic influence or satanic um, uh, propaganda and a program. We must, we must remove ourselves from participation in the systems of the world. That is why Romans chapter 12 verse 2 tells us Be not conformed to this world Be not conformed to this world As you want to get married Avoid the methods of the world As you dress yourself Avoid the patterns of the world As you go about in society Trying to make a living Avoid the methods and activities of the world. As you spend your holidays, eh, remove yourself from the patterns of the world. As you observe the day of the Lord on a Sunday like this, eh, avoid the ways of the world. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The only way you can be renewed in your mind is to begin to forget and begin to reject all the things you learnt in the world before about worldliness, about sin. And then begin to learn from the word of God how you should act, how you should dress, how you should live your life. It is only then you'll be able to prove what is good, what is acceptable, and what is the perfect will of God. Jesus Christ has given us um, in record, in writing, uh, what our attitude should be should be to consecration and yieldedness. Yes, in Luke chapter 14. Verse 25. And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Now, what did Jesus mean by hating your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your wife, and your children? 
children. Kini Jesus, kini Jesus. So ni ba tu ife ki ako rababa iya aya omara kuri ara peri. He is not talking about worldly hatred. He is talking about godly hatred. Ko soro ni ba ko rababi ti aye shubo soro ni ba ko rababi ti olorun. He is not talking about carnal hatred, but a spiritual type of hatred. Ko soro ni ba ko rati ara bi ko she ko rati ba ti emi. He is not talking of hating them bodily, hating their flesh. Ko soro ni ba ki ama ko rara wo. It is not talking about hating the house they are living. It is not uh, disliking their clothes and burning up their clothes. But it is talking about hating the hating the spiritual evil that will come as advice from them. It is talking about what they will tell you to do against the word of God and hating that. This is telling you, put God first in your life. And if your father will tell you anything contrary or opposite to the word of God, then reject what your father is saying and take what God Almighty is saying. If your mother is advising you to do something contrary to the perfect will of God, revealed in the word of God, reject that carnality and take unto the word of God. If your wife is inviting you to idolatry and taking juju medicine, Reject the advice of your wife. That's what the Bible is saying. And take on to the promises of God. Have faith in God. Be aware about your If your children prefer to make money in an evil way, in a sinful manner, reject that pattern of life and tell them you stand with God. Be a more bagba. Lati ma wa wo lono ti o buru lono ebi. If your brothers of the same of the same father, the same mother or relatives, or your sisters uh, of the same uh, family, if they are inviting you to come and partake in evil, the Bible says, hate the ideas they are bringing unto you. Be a nitu ajo bi insinu ebi kana boya lo kuni tabilo bi ni nitu banfi o lati wa she bi e bili so ipe oni lati ko oni lati ko amana be. But believer, do you realize that Jesus also said, if he does not hate his own life also. You know there are times you look at the people, uh, the other people in the world out there prospering, and your mind will be suggesting some things to you to do. In general, take by me now what you are wearing, and why you be washing loyalty, and on the most important thing, what you are made a best, my more rich chairman. On a Sunday, after you are dressed neatly, with the best you can afford, uh, with your money, and uh, you, your eyes will see other people out there dressed, and your mind will suggest something to you. Lord Joseph, and if I to wo a shorty if I reka a tosi tosi wa ni mo toto tosi boju mo ni ba to ba oju re ari ta wa lo miro to da beni ko o o o re fe ko ju ti re lo o kan ya be si ma so ri shiri shi fun and in the place of work when you see other people you are working together the type of car they are using and uh, the type of uh, talk they are talking about their family about how big they are your mind will want to suggest something to you ni bi se re awon ti e jo sise po eh ti eh ti won si lo boya won lo oko kan ni tabi ti won si nsoro bi e bi won se ri ti won nsoro nla nla okan ra pepe si ma se orisi si alaye tabi ko ma fun oni amoran jesus said when your mind when your brain when your thoughts suggest any sin contrary to the way of god hate that thought Hate that suggestion and say, oh, no, I have yielded myself unto God. I will never depart from God. Verse 27. whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. 
me? What is your particular cross? Kini What is your particular difficulty? Kini What is something that is bringing a problem to you, yes. wanting to make you turn back from the kingdom of God? Kini Is it because the unbelievers uh, are making jest of you? Kini Is it because your relatives are opposing your being a Christian? Kini Is it because uh, it feels uh, shameful and miss uh, your friends uh, because you are now a Christian? Kini Or is it because of a particular problem in your life that has not been solved? And people are saying, but you say you are a Christian. Bear that cross. Carry that cross. Because the Lord will make it light. And as you depend upon the Lord, as you yield and consecrate unto the Lord, all those problems you see today, you will not see them anymore in Jesus' name. But if you fail to yield yourself, if you turn back from God because of a present difficulty, if you turn away from God, don't you know that God will also turn away from you? If you reject God, don't you know that God will also reject you? If you forsake the way of the Lord, don't you know that you are following the ways of the world? If you are not with God, don't you know you are signing a you are signing a warrant to be with the devil? If the presence of God is not with you here, don't you know that if you are if you die, that means going to hell fire? That is why we must yield ourselves totally unto God. In Hebrews chapter 12, the Lord has told us again that in, uh, in yielding ourselves to God there are times it will take real effort real violence wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every way what is the weight in your life what is trying to take fellowship with other believers away from your life? What, what is it that is keeping you away from the house of God to come and worship God? Is it the pursuit of money? Is it work? Is it family problem? Is it the opinions of people? Lay aside every way and the sin which does so easily beset us. What is the sin that is very, very near you? Is it anger? Is it jealousy? Is it the tendency to have bitterness and never to think of forgiving other people? What is the sin that is very, very near you? Very delicate. Is it lost after women? Is it the tendency for immorality? Or is it covetousness and the love of money? Is it the fact that uh, you are never satisfied with whatever money you have? What is the sin that does so easily beset you? Is it the tendency to complain whenever there is a little difficulty? Is it getting discouraged whenever your prayer does not get answered in five minutes? Is it fainting under persecution? Is it the inability to bear when you are abused for Christ's sake? Lay it aside. Submit yourself unto God. Consecrate yourself unto God. And then you'll be able to run with patience the race that is set before you. Looking unto Jesus. He also on the finish of our faith. Keep on looking unto Jesus. If you look at your problems, you will see. If you look at the jesting of your friends, you will go back. 
if you look at the comments of uh, people who are whom you were attending church together in your denomination before, you will go back. If you look at the comments of people who are whom you were attending church together in your denomination before, you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and you are going to go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now you will go back. If you look at your account, your bank account, that it is going low, and that is the most important thing in your life. Now Father, that it is day and day, and you have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you before? Have you forgotten the exhortation that we gave you We must not allow discouragement. We must not allow whatever is happening today to discourage us from
to spend on us that were quarreling about money. How many times, how many years do you think remains before the Lord will come? Look at the signs that are already going on. Wars and rumors of wars in many places. Famine in the number of countries. Brother delivering brother unto persecution unto death. Fathers rejecting children. Husbands rejecting their wives because of Christ. What are all these is telling us? They are telling us. Get ready. Buckle your shoes. Put on your belt. Dress up in the garment of righteousness. Your staff in your hand. Your Bible in your hand. Your face in your hand. Then tune your ear and listen to what and listen to what is sounding. And then look up. Because your redemption draws nigh. Jesus is soon to come in the sky. And at that time, all tears will be wiped away. All shame will be rolled away. All reproach will go. It is at that time the last will become first. The last will become the first. In your place of work now, they are thinking you are the last. And you will be the first. In your family, they are thinking you are the last. And you will be the first. Among your colleagues, they are making jest of you. As if you are a nobody. As if you are just a, a useless person. To them, they will think of you last. But you will be the first. What, what am I to do until Jesus comes? What, how am I to remain until Jesus comes? In Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you my brother my sister the Lord is coming it will not be long I we shall be singing the hallelujah chorus it will not be long I with your very eyes you will see Abraham you will see Isaac, you will see Jacob, and you will see what Moses looks like. It will not be long. That man of God, Joshua, you will see. You will see them at the same place with David. It will not be long. And you will be in the company of Peter, John, and James. It will not be long. You will be asking Paul the apostle questions how he went through. It will not be long. And you will be holding conversation with Stephen of the Bible. It will, it will not be long. And you will see Jesus Christ face to face. And he will welcome you. Because sorrow will be no more. Pain will be no more. That is has gone forever. Because we shall be with our God forever and forever. And there will be no sun in that place. There will be no shining of the moon. Because the lamp of God Jesus will be the light of the place. And God himself shall wipe all tears away. And he will say, Behold, I make all things new. Blessed are those who have washed their garments that they may have right into the city of, of our God. Because in that place will be the river of life. And you will drink out of, out of that river. And I will give unto them the fruit from the tree of the midst of the paradise. And I will give them a name which only those who have received will know. The time is almost up. The trumpet is almost sounding. And it's telling you if you are not a believer. Yes. And it's telling you in, Rome, in uh, Proverbs chapter 23 verse 26 so that you will not be disappointed at last. He says, my son, give me thine heart. And let thine heart observe my ways. Are you a child of God? Don't cry, cheer up. Are you a, are you a daughter of God? Don't get this courage, cheer up. Our God is sending Jesus Christ for us. We shall not be here for long. Before the Antichrist begins to mess up everything because before the money from the bank's 
runs out, before the water becomes polluted, before, before there is no petrol anymore, before there is war all over the face of the earth, the church will go. It may be today. He will help you. Pray for the Lord. He loves you. Keep on with the Lord until He comes. In the night, we're going to sing. Our joyful time is coming. Our singing time is coming. Our peaceful time is coming. Jesus is coming for you. Yield yourself unto the Lord. He's a wonderful God. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. He's your God. He's your supporter. He's your leader. He'll carry you through.